Hey everyone, Cyclone here, and I wanted to bring you a Borderlands 3 discussion video. So, I've been playing this game since launch religiously. It's the only game I play uh, at the moment. And I wanted to talk about the status of the game and just take a step back and, and give you my thoughts on it from somebody who has played this series since the first game. So I played the first two Borderlands like crazy. We're talking, you know, multi-hundreds, maybe a th couple thousand hours. Um, really trying to get all the gear possible in the game. Let's start with the first glaringly obvious point about Borderlands 3. Uh, gear is way easier to get in this game than Borderlands 2. Uh, Borderlands 1, you could get a lot of legendaries with the raid boss Cromorax, uh, but and, and some chest farming, which they provided us. And I feel like Borderlands 3 is getting closer to Borderlands 1 in the loot, the end game loot system. You know, shower you with 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 gear, and I mean you can get legendaries. You can get like 50 legendaries in a couple of hours if you play the right way. That's a lot of legendaries. So they introduced more modifications to said legendaries. The anointed system, different variants and stat rolls and all of these other things. So you may find a bazillion, bazillion legendaries, but there are probably a handful that will be considered best in class to you, depending on your character and depending on your builds. So the first big issue, I think beyond everything else, is the stash space. And I agree. Because Gearbox is having the game drop all these guns so often because of streamers, of course, uh, we don't have enough stash space at the moment. And running through mule characters through the first hour or so of the campaign and going through all of the damn cutscenes is a chore. Worst part of the game right now, without question, is the muling system. Making characters with more inventory space. That, to me, is priority number one. Priority number two is performance in the menus. Of course, the game needs to perform better and stuttering when you throw out a bunch of things and there's a lot of ads on screen. Uh, I mean, and damage, damage sources slowing down the game, uh, at least for me on PS4, that can be annoying. I, I, won't, I won't lie. Uh, I would love to see performance addressed in their next big update. We haven't had that big update yet, guys. Everything has been hot fixes so far. So we need the big update to drop. And that's going to be with the Halloween event, I believe. So we may have a couple weeks until that comes out. Um, actually, we should probably have that within the next week. Two weeks at most. Uh, if anything, the big, big, big change this game will be when the raid comes out in the spring. Or no, I'm sorry, early winter, right? Is it, is it February? It's going to be sometime when the raid boss from Malawan, uh, I think it's going to be a Malawan guy, or no, that's uh, that's Captain that's uh, Captain Haunt, Captain Tron as a ghost. Um, when the raid comes out, we will get big balance changes. I have no doubt. Um, I see a lot of people complaining about the nerfs, and I I see it. They are. Cutting back on one-shot mechanics as they want to. Um, I have a feeling the developers do not want us one-shotting bosses. Let's let's get that straight. Um, Grave Ward was designed to be exploited. I mean, this has always been the case. Whenever they've made a big-bodied enemy, multi-hit weapons, high-crit weapons can destroy them. So Gearbox is clearly trying to remove the one-shot mechanic from this game. It's just a reality, folks. And I don't disagree with that necessarily. Where I'm more interested in is mobbing. G how we can mob clear. And they seem to be buffing and nerfing at the same time, which is good. The nerfs are heavier because the guns and items in question are really powerful. Um... The hex grenade got obliviated with, you know, its damage is done. 
As a Moe's player, you actually could mob with a hex grenade and kill most trash just with the grenade alone. Now you cannot do that. Uh, Flacker was nerfed into the ground. Again, as a Moe's player, uh, it was a ridiculously OP weapon. I will admit, the Flacker was OP. I said it the first time I started using the Flacker, I'm like, this thing's fucking broken. I used it all the way through playthrough 2. It's been nerfed twice, and they finally changed it so that you only have one round per burst. A most player with enough grenade spam can actually still fire it, but they also nerfed the damage on it. I have a casual flacker. It lost over 400 damage on the main bullet. So that right there, guys, big nerf to the flacker. Where it's really coming down to is what can deal with those stupid anointed enemies. And that's what they have to fix in the mobbing game, the anointed system. I think the anointed enemies are really a pain in the ass. And I'm not trying to complain because they're hard. I am trying to complain that due to the fact that they have one-shot mechanics, basically, or invincibility periods, we need ways to counter anointeds a little bit more. Now, I will say one thing. The Quasar Grenade actually can grab them. And that's huge. Uh, it interrupts their abilities. So I've been actually using the Quasar to pretty good effectiveness. Um, basically, if you're not Moe's, I don't really know the other characters in Endgame. I haven't studied them, but I am a Moe's player. I can tell you that grenade, grenade gameplay is being nerfed overall. Gearbox does not want us to clear mobs with grenades. They want us to initiate damage with grenades and then finish things off with weaponry. I understand that. But I also, because grenades can be regen so quickly, I see why they're trying to combat that. Basically, grenade a grenade is another gun, but it has rechargeable ammo on a crazy scale. That's why they're nerfing grenades, guys. It's very, very basic math here. Imagine having a TD or that never lost ammo. Like you keep spamming the thing out, homes in on enemies, whatever. That's what the grenade gameplay is right now. And they're trying to nerf that so that the grenade damage is not the primary source of destroying things. That's just how it is, guys. That's just how it is. Now, we will see what else they buff, what else they nerf. I have some ideas as to what they might touch next in the nerf hammer. And I have some hopes as to what they may buff. But... Time will tell. It's still early, guys. We need to be patient. Wait for the first raid boss to come out. Then I would love to hear some complaints. Right now, we need to see the game develop. It's only a month out. I mean, we got to give it time. One month in, guys. What happened to gamers? I remember back in the day that there were no such things as updates. I'm an older gamer. I have that experience. The young folks don't get that. If you're a young guy, young girl, and you only know games through patching, you don't know what it used to be like. We're only one month in. Give it time. Give it time. Explore some of the other loot that you have. Maybe some of those buffs they announced, Jericho, uh, you might be able to really fuck around with mob clearing. Give it a chance. But I also, I am concerned about a couple things. But I'm also realizing that it's still early. So let's give it time to develop. Cyclone signing out. I'll catch you guys later.